Well, greetings. Uh, I'd like to uh, introduce myself. I'm Ellie and I, and today we're going to show you how to make ghee in a coffee pot. It's the first step, of course. Uh, uh, all you have to do is take your uh, best like butter, uh, real butter, okay? Uh, you just take it, uh, peel the bark off them cubes, man, throw them right into the pot. Put it on your, uh, don't put it inside, <laughs> you know, where you put water in there. But you can see it's pretty well clear. It's not as clear as it really needs to be yet. Uh, the top, there's very little film on it. Of course, now it's going to vary. I've had other coffee makers that, uh, uh, when I did it, uh, it actually boiled on the bottom. Okay, so you could see the, uh, the blood and the pus there that uh, this here on the bottom, this here layer is. Uh, that's a lot of your uh, impurities. They call them milk solids, but a lot of those milk solids are pus. Uh, ghee will last for a really long time. It's very nutritious for you because you get rid of the most of the poisons out of here. So what you do when it gets to this phase, and now sometimes, like I say, you can see just a little film left on the top here. I didn't even scrape this yet. Now other coffee pots that I had used, uh, there was uh, it would actually have the foam on top. So all we're going to do with this, it's first step like I say, is take yourself a nice little uh, kettle and you want to pour off most all the ghee that you already have made the best you can without bringing any of that blood and pus off the bottom of your coffee pot. You know, just pay attention to what you're doing. It's a uh, okay. Well, I guess it started bringing a little, but that's okay. Like I said, it's the first time. You can look at other videos and and uh, figure out what you are to do after these things. But I'm just going to take this into a a cup. Doesn't matter, and I'll probably get more than one. You might have seen them clumps falling in there. Uh, uh, it, you could see it's pretty nasty. Okay, those solids in the bottom, and there's still more pus and such in the pot. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put this cup in the fridge. I'm going to let it cool down, and it's going to solidify the top. I'll crack that out of there, and I'll take uh, a napkin or whatever after I take a little warm water and rinse it. Okay, you want to rinse the, the pus and the blood off the, uh, the solid chunk of ghee. Dab it off with a little piece of napkin or whatever, and then, you know, it, it's fine to eat after that. But simplest, most efficient way I know to make ghee is using your coffee pot. That way you don't have all the boiling to do. Now, you will want to go ahead and process this. You want to go ahead and put it on the stove, heat it up. If there's any moisture in there, it will boil it out, uh, just like with the rest of the uh, ghee recipes you see doesn't matter if you use salted or unsalted butter. I prefer the salted because uh, you need to have salt in yourself. Okay, and it doesn't make any difference with the ghee. And of course, you know, a lot of recipes, they want to say, well, you need to take the curd and, uh, you know, do these things. Great probiotics, but then they boil them. It kills the probiotics, you know. So there's really no difference in the ghee making it from a coffee pot. It'll, you know, it doesn't save you time. It, it saves you a lot of effort. Uh, you don't end up burning your ghee. And I find it makes a much greater quality ghee. So I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, once again, this is Ellie and I. See you later on the other side. And have a great day. Bye-bye. Enjoy that ghee now.